What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Game Day with Trey, and this is your Hard Rock Bet tutorial on how to build your own props or pop parlays. Uh, I'm doing this video because uh, a lot of people that I know have asked questions about how I've been able to be consistently hit my tickets so often. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, I've hit since Thanksgiving. I've hit every day except for, I want to say, seven or eight days uh, throughout this time period. Uh, I've only deposited $40. No, I'm sorry, $60 into this account. Uh, so I just continuously uh, stack my winnings. Okay. Uh, I have made some withdrawals, but uh, I don't deposit anything in here. But. Okay, let's get to the video. All right, so a lot of people understand and know about this icon up here that says Prop Parlays. All right, when you tap that, you can hit the drop down where you see it says NFL, and you can select whether you want to do NFL or NBA, of course. And, and you know, you can look at all events and see what's coming up and, and try to select from there. But these are props that have been put together by the casino that they offer you. Okay, of course, you see there's different categories, and uh, if we switch to the NBA, and you swipe to the left, you can actually start looking at other props for each game. Here's the thing, though. Everybody has the ability to make their own prop parlay, and a lot of people don't know how, so this is how we're going to do it. Okay, so you see right here where it says Brooklyn, Philly, and you can see the spread, total, and winner. If you just tap where it says either the 76ers icon or the Brooklyn icon, it brings you into the same game parlay builder. Okay, now, if you want, you can build your own parlay, okay, by just tapping that tap to build a same game parlay once you do that it only offers you the opportunity to build through the game lines and player props all right so as an example if i click the drop down for first player to score it's going to give me odds and opportunities to select what player is the first player to score same thing if i do met first method of first basket <laughs> And same thing if I do the spread. Now, the thing is, if I do the spread, you see your spread up here is the Nets plus four and a half, 76ers minus four and a half. I have the ability to select whatever spread the casino is allowing in here to create my ticket the way I want to without actually uh, doing a teaser. All right. Uh, now, you can also select to win. You can do 76ers total points. You can do nets total points. You can do whether it's odd or even total points at the end of the game. Okay. And these same options are offered uh, if you are not in the same game parlay. And I'll show you guys in a second. But now let's go to the player prop portion. So you select player prop. And here you actually have the ability <laughs> to select points, alternate points, rebounds, alternate rebounds, assists, alternate assists, points, assists, and rebounds total, field goals made, threes made, alternate threes, first quarter points, first quarter assists, first quarter rebounds, whether or not the player will have a double-double, uh, points plus assists, points plus rebounds, assists plus rebounds, steals plus blocks, steals or blocks. Now, as you can see, and we'll just build one real quick. All right, so uh, just take some random stuff. Let's say maxi over 31 and a half. Let's say we'll go to points, rebounds, assists. We'll say, and notice, uh, once you've select a, selected a player to do something in this player prop, you cannot select that same player to do a, do something else, okay? Just so you know. All right, but um, let's go back to game lines. All right, now I say I wanted to say 76ers are going to win. All right, uh, then I would go, or if I wanted to be creative, let's just be creative with it. Let's say Nets 
go to spread and go Nets plus seven and a half. <laughs> Let's do total under. It says two thirty two and a half. Let's just say under two thirty eight and a half. Now let's say 76ers to win. Uh, and we'll do total points. Let's say uh, 76ers over 117 and a half total points. Now if you notice as you pick or select something that is going to affect another option, you don't have the ability to select something that counteracts that same option or is that same option. In other words, once I select the, once I changed that over under for the total and selected that down here at the 238 and a half, I no longer have the ability to select a total up here. I can, however, pick the team totals and I could pick both team totals if I wanted to. If I wanted to, I could say Nets are going to be under 113 and a half. Okay. Or let's just say, uh, I would actually say 115 and a half if I was building this ticket. But, uh, and that is how you build your own same game parlay uh, within, uh, I'm sorry, hard rock bet. All right, but let's cancel and leave this. Because right now I just hit the back arrow, so I'm going to cancel and leave this because I don't want to keep this ticket. Confirm and leave. All right, now let me show you how you can effectively build your own ticket the way you want to. So once again, we'll start from the Brooklyn Philly game, okay? And let's say I want to say Brooklyn, we'll say, uh, yeah, we'll say we'll just go with Philly minus five and a half, okay? All right, now once I've selected that, I no longer have the ability to select something within this game if I want to build a parlay, okay? The only way you can select the same things in the same game to build a parlay is by tapping that same game parlay up here at the top in purple, okay? Now, if I wanted to make my own, like I said, now I'm going to hit the back button. I go to the Golden State Atlanta game. Let's say uh, I want to uh, give Atlanta points, so I'll say, or actually, I would say that uh, total points will go Warriors total over 121 and a half. Now, if I wanted to, I could stop right there, and at the bottom, you see what my selections play out if I was to bet the $15 but if you wanted to cross sport and do all that you can do that too as you can see I just selected NCAA men's and uh, let's just select something here uh, let's go with UConn minus the three and a half now let me do show you something real quick within the college portion so the professional sports you can play with the spreads a lot more uh, when you're playing or betting these college sports okay you see, the spread does you can't play with it as, as much. Okay, so uh, just so you know, <laughs> all right, if you're trying to build a parlay and you want to play with the the spread on college, you won't. You're only going to have like a two three point variance that you will be able to go through. All right, but outside of that, that is how you build your same game parlays. Uh, also, create your own parlays. Uh, and create your own lines to give yourself an advantage to guarantee a win. Because at the end of the day, this is about winning. You don't do this for fun, okay? And if you are doing this, please bet responsibly. All right, you guys. Until the next video, have a blessed day. Stay safe. And uh, check out uh, check out this channel because uh, you will be seeing more from this channel we don't i don't just do tutorials if you look at my channel you see that i give picks i give props i give opinion about what's going on in sports uh with a couple of my fellow co-hosts uh just check out the channel man all right but y'all have a blessed day
Stay safe and good luck out there. I'll see you at the window. Peace. What's happening, y'all? This is your homeboy Trey with Game Day with Trey. And I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a brief history about what I've been doing, just in case you didn't believe me or didn't know. Okay. Uh, if you look at the bottom left hand corner of each one of these tickets, it tells you the date. And uh, we'll just start off on February 2nd. January 30th. January 29th. January 28th. January 27th. Took a few days off, came back 16th, 14th, 
12th, 11th, 8th, 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th, <laughs> November 26th, took a few days off, November 25th, November 24th, November 23rd, November 22nd, first day, alright guys, you see it, 